Hi everybody, I'm Alice Camps, curator, and I'm thrilled to welcome you to our newest exhibit, Remembering Vietnam, here at the Lawrence F. O'Brien Gallery at the National Archives Museum in Washington, D.C. Let's go have a look. This exhibition presents recently discovered and iconic National Archives records related to 12 critical episodes in the Vietnam War. These critical episodes are important events and turning points and controversies that together provide a framework for people to understand why the United States was involved in Vietnam, why it lasted so long, and why it was so controversial for the American people. We've created a number of aids to help people navigate this complex history. This is one of them. In the exhibit brochure, there's an infographic that helps you keep track of the many different places, personalities, and groups that were involved in the Vietnam War. Each of the episodes is located here on a timeline. Many Americans think of the Vietnam War as something that happened mainly in the 60s and early 70s, but in fact the United States became involved there during World War II. There are over 80 different original National Archives records on display. In addition, there are multimedia elements and interactives like this one. Here visitors can learn about the domino theory and they can test their knowledge of Southeast Asian geography. They match the colors up with the map, and then they can check to see if they got them right. And then, just for fun, they can topple the dominoes. The exhibition also includes excerpts from secretly taped White House conversations about the Vietnam War. And these recordings provide a fascinating window into the thoughts and motivations of the architects of the war. Here we have a station where you can listen to excerpts from the Kennedy administration. Over the weekend, the uh, coup in Saigon took place. Culminated uh, three months of uh, conversation about a coup. Comma. To provide different perspectives on the war and to show some of its real life consequences, we interviewed Vietnamese and American veterans, journalists, peace protesters, and civilians. In 1954, the French were defeated at Dien Bien Phu and Vietnam was divided in two with the Ho Chi Minh and the Viet Minh taking over the northern part down to the 17th parallel and the French retaining the south from the 17th parallel downward. These films are illustrated with National Archives historic footage and they're located within three theaters within the exhibition. I'm standing in front of one of them right now. The Tet Offensive was a major turning point in the war. This case has artifacts from that period, including a page from General Westmoreland's speech in which he told the American people that the end was coming into view. We also have a CIA analysis of the attack on the United States Embassy and a map of the Saigon area which shows the defense of the embassy. In the episodes that cover the final years of the war, we have artifacts and documents related to Kent State and the peace protests that followed it. Here we have several documents and photographs of the negotiations that led up to the Paris Peace Accords. And this is a model of the Hanoi Hilton where many American POWs were held. It was created by the CIA in preparation for a rescue operation. Following the fall of Saigon, episode 12, we have the legacy section. Some of the highlights there are Maya Lin's submission drawings for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial and a number of items that were left at the wall. Remembering Vietnam is open through January 6, 2019. We hope you'll have a chance to visit in person or explore it further on the web at www.archives.gov/vietnam.